Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be all about this beauty right here. This is the Lady Moss um, website 116 holder lipstick tower. It rotates and it has um, these circular slots on the top. Obviously I got it in clear and it does have the little icon, but other than that it's clear. Um, and then the square holders on the side. Um, I have like filming lights set up all around ring light here, lamp there, lamp here. So if you get any weird glares and then the window I'm getting a little bit of random sunlight. So the lighting sucks, that's why. But um, I just wanted to show you guys this. Um, I think it was like $69. I'm going to put the price on the screen and a link down below so you guys can see it. But I thought I would go ahead and show you how I fill it. And I've never tried to put any lipstick, so I want to see what fit in this and good stuff like that. Right now, I'm going to be putting in all of my acrylic organizers in my Alex 9 drawer. Um, as many of these as I can. And I also have um, this one for liquid lipsticks up here. And these right here, my Milani's. So let's go ahead and try it out. All right, so I'm going to start with the Milani ones. Um, I have the most of these, I think, so. Maybe I'll do light to dark. So let me see how you guys can see this the best. I'll do like the most nude ones towards the top and the darkest ones towards the bottom. fit perfectly with plenty of room. Now let's give it the test. They did not fall out. Very cool. Okay, so I think the next brand that I have a lot of is MAC, so I'm going to try MAC. I'm going to put them with the label outward. All right, next I'm going to do my NARS lipsticks. These are the audacious ones. Darkest towards the bottom. I'll do my Dior. These are Dior Rouge. And then these are the Dior Addict lipsticks. I'm telling you so that you can see what fits and what doesn't fit. And do they fall out? No. Looks so good. Okay, next. I moved my Dior lipsticks because I realized I had more and I turned them so that the end that says the name is facing outward. But I had five, not the four that I had space for here. I almost considered instead of doing by brand, by color. So like all my nudes on one side, but then they would look like this looks so nice and organized. And I feel like if I did them by color, um, they would just be like every different brand in the world. And I kind of know, you know, what color they are based on the name of it. So um, now I have six Maybelline lipsticks. So I guess I'm going to start a new I think will be all of my drugstore. So these are Wet n Wild. Elf. Nick. These are the NYX high voltage ones. And then Jordana. And this is a Palladio. This drugstore side I'll do Zoya. Over here under the Mac I'll do Zoya. Mirabella and Essence. Hmm, can you see this one? The Mirabella is short, so it like sunk into there. 
like I had to really work to get that out. So that's unfortunate. All right, now I'm going to do Marc Jacobs. These are the largest lipsticks I think I own. They're very hard to find a spot for. Um, and again, they don't fit in this either. Um, I have like this kind of organizer, just your standard like lipstick tray, and these have never fit in them. And then I also have like these ones, and they don't fit in that. Um, I've never been able to find a holder that holds Marc Jacobs lipsticks. Like it just doesn't work. So that is a bummer. I have several of those, and they won't fit on top either because those are circular. All right. Um, the other, some of my other large lipsticks. These are Estee Lauder. They're more like you know, square, large ones. So I'll try Estee Lauder here. Those fit just fine. The Pure Color Envies. Those are pretty big. Clinique's Plum Pop, Lip Pop. And the last lipstick, Clinique. This is a Tarte. One. Urban Decay. And I'll do some makeup forever. This side's just kind of whatever. So I have several of these old um, Amuse Beauty, uh, not Amuse Bouche, Bite Beauty, where are these? Deconstructed Rose, Bite Booty, Luminous Cream Lipsticks that I like. So they're circular, so I'm going to put those up here. They've been discontinued, and that totally bums me out. I do have one of these in my purse. I think it's Zen is the color. I also have several minis, and I did try it, and they sink. But I think up here it's okay. Um, so I'll do it like that, and I have one, like I said, in my purse. Um, other circulars, I have my YSL. Also, these ones here, the holes are smaller, so they won't fit, for example, a YSL these two. Alright, so I went ahead and put my like Too Faced Melted lipsticks on the top and a couple of the L'Oreal um, infallible paints that I have up here as well. The minis work just fine in the holder. Um, I had three minis and then the center again there's that little thing, there's no hole, there's just a little sticker thing. So eight fit up top and then I, like I told you there's one Bite Beauty lipstick in my purse. And then I have two circulars up here, and I'm trying to think. I'll just do this Sephora lip, and then the Berry Crush from uh, Me, Me, Me Beauty. That was circular. So the top is filled with the exception of the one here. And then I still have all of my Tarte lipsticks. So I think I'm going to just make this side a lot of Tarte. Um, so let me just move this down here, and this will all be Tarte. I have all these little colored little tart tubes. One thing I did want to point out, this is a Le Rouge Givenchy lipstick. I think that's how you say it. And um, it, I thought it wasn't going to fit like my Marc Jacobs one. So see, it doesn't fit. Like I, oh, it kind of fits, but not really. But I noticed something that the bottom row is actually bigger than the other rows by a tiny bit. But mini lipsticks like these, Urban Decay, Tarte, Buxom, um, Too Faced, Burberry, things like that. These little minis you can't use because they sink in too far deep in there and you can't get them out. You have to like use a tool like a pencil or something to get them out. So it's not worth it. Um, the Marc Jacobs full size ones don't fit. Givenchy barely fits. I would say I'm not even going to put it in there because um, it's too hard to get out. Um, this Mirabella one is too short so that it sinks so far back in there that it's hard to get out and I don't want to put that in there. Um, and then can you put um, thicker things like this is a lip chubby lipstick, chubby lip pencil? Yes, but they stick out quite a bit so I don't really want to do that. Same with like my liquid lipsticks. I could put them in there. The only place I'd put my liquid lipsticks is maybe in the top. But I'm going to go ahead and move some stuff around one last time and then I'll show you the final product. All right, I finally got it the way I want it. Um, so over here, I'll start here. We have all my MAC lipsticks. They fit beautifully. Um, we have the, the NARS 
Audacious Lipsticks, um, like Estee Lauder, Elizabeth Arden, Zoya, um, Givenchy, I can never say that, um, Milani Color Statements, and then these are my lip pencils I wasn't going to put in here, but they're like the NARS um, ones, the Bite Beauty ones. Um, they're a little bit long, but they work. Um, LOC, I think that's Love of Color. And then this is a Nude Sticks, I believe. Yeah, Nude Sticks. Um, that one's a little bit longer, but they work. And then I have my drugstore. This is like Maybelline, um, Wet n Wild, Elf, um, NYX, Jordana. And then all randomly I have four Dior lipsticks because <laughs> that's where they fit. Um, up here I have my Clinique. Those all fit. Uh, YSL, Urban Decay, Revlon, Makeup Forever, Palladio, Estee Lauder. I'm telling you this so that you guys can see what brands fit and what don't. Um, Tarte. This is a Tarte lipstick. It's one of their Glamazon ones, so it's really long. It does fit, but it just sticks out a lot. So that might bother some of you who are like OCD. You can see how much it's sticking out. I don't know. I may move it, but um, Tarte, the square lipsticks, they fit fine. Essence, Estee Lauder, and a CoverGirl. Um, yeah, that's the, the base part. And it does squeak. Listen. So if that bothers you, you might not want to invest in this, but I think it's pretty cool. And then on the top, I just have my YSL, Bite Beauty, um, one random Me 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 lipstick. And then these are my Too Faced Melted Lipsticks and the L'Oreal Infallible Paints. So that is it. Overall thoughts, I think this did a good job, but I am still left with all these random lip products that didn't quite fit in that. Um, either because they're minis or they're liquidy ones and I don't, I don't know my chubby lip pencils, liquid lipstick. So none of those fit. So I'm going to have to come up with, you know, how I want to store them all in these. But that is it for my um, review. I think this is going to look really cute, display all my lipsticks. And also I think it's going to be make it faster for me to pick out a lip product in the morning, you know, because I can just like go, hmm, especially I love the ones that have the color on the end like this. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Hope you found it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.